But it didn't slow that 82 down any. Jacoby got out of the throttle, maybe thinking it was going to ride against the wall. But, man, Cole is right there on the bumper of Edson. And here is Jacoby in third. Comstock sits fourth in the final uh, fourth championship contender is Chad Coleman, who sits fifth. And if these three wreck each other up in the lead, Coleman's sitting in the catbird seat. Absolutely, and he's got enough of a cushion back there. He'll be, he'll be able to get woed up and, and make evasive maneuvers to stay out of the wreck, too. So, I mean, there's there's that going from a back up front. This battle for the lead, Ben. I mean, I know folks are looking at this like they're nose to tell. What, what battle? You don't understand, folks. These guys are sizing up. The 82 and the 88, Cole and Jacoby, they're sizing Edson up right now. They know he's got older tires, and he's going to start slipping and sliding here over the next couple of laps. All they got to do is wait for him to make a mistake, it looks like. That arc that Cole takes out of turn number four, John, we'll see it here. If he leaves just enough gap for Jacoby, look like at that? Jacoby like that. If he leaves just enough gap and Jacoby puts his nose in there, Jacoby's not lifting. He'll turn no. the 82 no. before he lifts off the gas pedal. That's right, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit with what's on the line right here. I mean, I am seriously jealous. Look at this. He's going to try a power move on the outside again. Oh, he just can't pull it off, though. I tell you what, Edson's got to be nervous right now. He knows how old his tires are. He knows how not old their tires are. He's got to be real nervous right now. Ben. I don't even know if nervous is a good enough word to describe it. A little bumper oh. there from Cole. And Jacoby, he's got to the outside. He's got Jacoby the outside. to the outside. Outside goes to Jacoby. Here comes Cole. He'll have to work the bottom side of the racetrack. Can he make up any ground down there? No, Jacoby gets up to second cold doing everything he oh. can to work the bottom jacoby almost puts the bumper to edson off the front straightaway edson leads it heading into the final 16 laps and here comes lap traffic in the form of the o's oh, oh the caution out. is out here at bristol motor speedway the caution waves finish third in the race tonight mr excitement is uh, alongside our john mustin that's right, Ben. I have caught up with Jason, Mr. Excitement, Jacoby. My heart breaks for you, but at the same time rejoices for you, Jason. Hell of a show you put on tonight, man. Talk to us about your race. John, congratulations to Trey, and huge thank you to everyone for watching this. This is so much fun. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, uh, Brian Boris Cook, Interstate Batteries. I'm so confident with the Interstate Batteries battery in my car because it always starts up perfectly. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you what, it was a great race, John. As always, it's so so fun running with Sim 500, uh, the league that Joey Gatina puts on. We had a lot of close racing, and, and my belief is, you know, uh, no intentional wrecking, moving people out of the way. I wasn't going to do that. I like to get close to guys' bumpers because it makes for a good show, but um, it's always going to be clean racing uh, with me. And, and any time, I, if I ever give the bumper, it's going to be on accident. But, uh, but uh, I had a lot of close, good close racing out there. You know that that brings me to my next point, Jason. Uh, I want to I want to talk to you about that. Uh, we'll say quote unquote incident on track, son. I put a lot of work into these trucks, and you scratched yours up pretty good when you got into Comstock. There, what happened on that? Man, I tell you what. Um, so I just wanted to get around David, but I wasn't going to move him. That's that's not my style, you know. So I figured I'd throw a slide job in there and uh, try to get around him that way. So uh, if there was any error on my part, it was I didn't come up enough on the track in front of David. I'm sorry he got into the to the wall, you know, but, uh, you know, it's always fun racing with those guys. Um, but it was in a slide job to try to get up to Chad Cole and Trey Edson, who were racing for that championship. I was going to try to get uh, my fiance and I out to Texas because she's a huge Kyle Busch fan, as am I, and we wanted to uh, get out there with them. But, again, huge congrats to Trey. This is an awesome blessing to be able to run this thing. It's such a cool opportunity, and uh, I'm thrilled. Win, lose, or draw, it's, it's a great experience. Well, my friend, it was an exciting race you guys put on tonight. I want to thank you for that, and I'm sure our fans out there would love to be able to say thank you for the exciting show that you and the other, other drivers put on. Do you have anybody you want to thank tonight for your third-place run? Yes, sir. Um, so everyone watching, once again, uh, on the Joe Gibbs Racing Facebook, also on my YouTube channel where I live stream at, youtube.com slash jjacoby88. Um, again, Joe Gibbs Racing, Interstate Batteries, Joe Gibbs, uh, Joey Gatina, Sim 500, and the hashtag do it for JD in, two, in 2019 because um, I never met him, but he looked like such a cool guy. And, uh, you know, it, it hits close to home when you're running this league um, when when we all lose him. So uh, thanks again to, to everyone for putting this on, and I look forward to racing with you all in the future. Thank you very much for your time, Jason. Congratulations again on a third-place finish and uh, second-place finish in the championship, and we look forward to talking to you later on, buddy. Thank you, sir.